We found the monster in the very bottom of the canyon, close to where I had last seen him. The shooting lane was very tight and I was forced to set the camera up right next to Pat. When he shot, the rifle's recoil jarred the camera from the bull. A videographer's nightmare. Hang on, Pat. Her horn. You see? He's facing you. She's shooting in the chest. Out for horn. It's ready? He's trying to go down. He's down. He's down. He is I, I down. think he's a little weak on the thirds. He was weak on the G7. It's about that big. He looks bitching from the back, doesn't he? Oh, man. Ooh. Pat's in dead. He'd be dead. This bull had been tagged and released by the Utah Department of Wildlife Resources in 1992. He had moved over 100 miles from the release point to where we found him. 55 inch main beam, you're not going to find G3s any better than that anywhere on any bull. And uh, absolute, we fretted how to get to it for a couple days, but we figured it out and actually walked right to him. Elk gods were on our side. Definitely. Bad canyon, good setup, great bull. And a tag bull, they don't even, couldn't recall when they tagged this bull, how old he is. We'll have to find out or where he was released years and years ago. Flip his uh, head around, give me a front on if you can right there. Oh, he does have thirds, look at that. Oh, he does, he has thirds. I, you know, he doesn't look, no. That's the amazing part.